Alright, so this woman here is a woman called Lucia Riker. She was a Dutch professional boxer, kickboxer, and widely considered to be one of the greatest female fighters of all time. And she used to be dubbed by the press as the most dangerous woman in the world. Her nickname was Lady Tyson. And she's a four times kickboxing world champion with a record of 37 wins with 25 knockouts. And in boxing, her record is 17-0 with 14 knockouts. Okay, widely considered as one of the greatest female fighters of all time. So at this point in her career, she'd basically beaten everybody and there was no one left for her to fight. So she thought it would be a good idea to fight a man. And that's exactly what she did. And her opponent was a man named Somchai Jai D. Now this guy was nothing spectacular. He was just an average fighter. He was 13 and one. And he was an amateur as well. He wasn't even a professional. So consider this, you've got the greatest female fighter of all time who's beaten everybody in her division. No one wants to fight her going up against an average male amateur fighter with a record of 13 wins and one defeat. Let's see what happened. And there you have it. She got knocked out cold. Now I'm not taking anything away from her. She's a phenomenal fighter, one of the greatest female fighters of all time. But this fight just shows the big difference between male and female fighters. You gotta remember, she was 36 and 0 in kickboxing. This guy wasn't even a kickboxer. He was a Muay Thai fighter. And they were fighting in kickboxing rules. And she was 25 years old. He was only 21 years old. So technically he hadn't even reached his prime at that point. He was still young. Most men reach their prime between the age of 25 to 30 when you get your man strength. And he absolutely destroyed her. I respect her for trying, but it just shows how unhealthy it is telling women that they can be better than men. It's just biologically not true. Round one. Omae wa mou shinde iru. Nani? All women are queens! I saw this guy coming, and I took the most excellent hit of my life. Next thing I knew, I was on the beach, taking in some cosmic rays, getting healed by Mother Nature. <laughs> Yeah. 
Round two. If she breathes, she's a fuck! Bonk! <laughs> Round three. Bang! I make it look easy. Ping! Sorry! Eat my dust! Hey, look at me, ma! Ah, oh, fellas! It's kind of funny how all the instructors just jumped in and started yelling at him like he did something wrong. He literally did what he was instructed to do, but because she's a woman, she gets special treatment. I mean, at the end of the day, you're in the military, and what you basically train for there is to go to war. What are they going to do if they're on the front line and someone's shooting at her? Hey, 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 hey! Stop shooting at her. She's a woman. What, you think the enemy's going to be like, oh, sorry. Sorry, we didn't realize that was a woman. Sorry, we'll stop shooting your way. All right, here we got another man versus a woman. I don't know what she was doing. Why are you running? You wanted equal rights? Look, there's a the right, there's a the left. And it's over, just like that. Fight to end and a bloodbath. What do I think about my opponent, Eric Newsom? He's a pretty strong fighter. I don't think she has a technique. I feel really well. I've been training really hard for this opportunity for a long time. Good throws and reversals by both fighters. These girls are getting right into it. Fox delivering oh, the knees, and oh. that's it. Fallon Fox. Holy cow. Oh. Game over. Wow. And a quick finish to our first our first women's. Right now, I'm feeling excellent. That was sweet, huh? Did you like that? Yeah. And I want to tell everyone else, I'm coming in this, in this tournament. Every woman in this tournament better look out. I'm freaking coming. Hey, who sanctioned this shit? Really? Come on, who sanctioned this bullshit? Check this out. I'm an old man now. Back in my day, men protected women instead of beating them up in a boxing ring. Things sure have changed. So yeah, I just want to say, it's one thing when a woman is fighting in a woman's league and she thinks she can beat a man. She wants to step into the men's world as an exhibition. If she really wants to do it, then that can happen. And she's going to learn pretty quickly the differences between male and female biology. But when you've got women trying to compete in their own league and they know they can't compete with men, then it's just wrong when you've got a biological male who can't even compete with the men. So they decide, oh, I'm going to compete in the women's league. They go to the women's league and start dominating it. It's so unfair. These women spend their whole lives trying to be the best at their sport. And then you've got a man who's basically identifying as a woman just coming in and smoking them all. Like, it's crazy times that we live in.